Are you? Good. These kids are called at risk. At risk of high unemployment, violence, drug abuse, and trafficking. At risk of imprisonment and premature death. Some members of this community, however, refuse to accept those statistics. Beautiful. Can you say this man that loud? Here, give me is something. one of them. A pallet. This is part My name is Jay. They call me Mr. Jay here at Lockerman Bundy in West Baltimore, one of RAPS, Rebuilding Through Art Project's home base. And we've been involved with the school for several years. We helped the school from shutting down. We brought really amazing business partners. Test scores have gone up, great teachers have been added to the good teachers that have been here, great administration, parents are now being involved. And so our job is to use art through the voices of the children to transform place and the people who participate. Transformation is what's taking place, not only on the walls of this elementary school, but also in the lives of these students. Jay tells us the story of one of them. In part of this community, when we talk about poverty, almost everybody I work with has had some dramatic sadness in the family through addiction, violence, both. Um, his mom is in prison for addiction. His dad is in prison through that. Um, his uncle was killed by the police two years ago. It was a horrible thing. We had lawyers trying to fight that. That was horrible. But these tragedies, either strengthen you or destroy you, and it can do both. Working with the children and their parents, as well as the school administration, Jay and others in the Rebuilding Through Art Project, or RAP, have indeed strengthened and transformed this institution. All this is, originally this was all, see this color here? It's what I call prison white, okay? And this whole corridor pretty much down to the mural down there was all prison white. And we felt this was the next place to begin. But if you look carefully at the details, this is all based on their work. All these things about music in the community. Even another year where we had kids make these very complex tiles became integrated into the design. We are in one of the most challenged communities in Baltimore. Um, the children, however, are some of the brightest that anyone would ever meet. And I always feel it's interesting that why are children penalized for where and who they're born to and where they're born rather than are they bright or not? For me, however, I look at them as the future of America. To me, they are homeland security. To me, they are what is beautiful and exciting about what we can be as a country. And we find through the art program that there is a second nurturing some of them have it at home, not all of them have it at home of a safety net. But what we try to provide are two things. One, at a room and a place where they can be free to express themselves. But more important, maybe more than anything else I do with them beyond literacy, reading comprehension, understanding art, creating something in public where they will go, look, that's my house, that's my red, that's my green, I did that. It's the idea that if once a week I go up to them and say, you are really doing good. And something transforms in them. They have a different confidence about themselves, and that's another kind of nurturing. And that, in the world they live in, and in the crazy world we all live in, is maybe the best thing I can do. There's an old Jewish saying that says, if you save one life, you save a nation. And when I work with these children, I think, wow, if we can just touch a couple of these kids and they can see against all odds that there's still something possible. That's extraordinary. 